Um, there are people who just don't give a shit. I mean, let's just be honest. There are people who don't care. Um, and there's really, you can't make, you can't, look, I, I really, you know, I pride myself on having lots of logical arguments. You cannot, logic cannot persuade somebody to care morally if that person doesn't care. Um, you need to care. If you care, I can get you to the point where you will see veganism as your only option. It's your only way out. Um, but if you don't care, there's not a whole lot I can do. So if somebody says, I don't care. Now sometimes, you know, sometimes you'll get that from people. Um, and sometimes it means something else. Sometimes like, you know, guys will say, oh, I don't care. Because that's what guys are supposed to say. Because compassion is just not a male thing. Um, and, and caring about morality is for a lot of men you know, a threat. Um, and so I think that, um, that uh, uh, you know, if somebody really doesn't care, then there's nothing you can do. But you know what, the good thing, that's bad story, but the good thing is there's a zillion people who do care. And, and I look at everybody I meet, I look at, I stop, my, 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 I'm not kidding, this is the way I think. Every human being I meet, I see as a potential being. And, I, and, and I, 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 I look at every person I meet as a challenge. This person has the spark of morality within them. I've got to ignite it. That's what I should be doing. If I find out that they're in fact dead, that there ain't no spark, I move on to the next person. And I have to tell you, have I encountered people in the 30 plus years that I have been engaged in this fun project? Um, the answer is, yeah, I have met some people who don't care. I haven't met a whole lot of them. Uh, I, I've met some. I've met some. But most people do care. Um, and, and our goal, our object, our responsibility, our obligation is to educate those people and explain to them um, why their caring has to translate in, into, you know, has to translate into certain concrete changes in their lives. You know, the nice thing about veganism is it's one thing we can all do. We don't need expensive campaigns. We don't need big organizations. This is something people can do right now. And, you know, and I, I, you know there's, there are, there's, there's this group, uh, Direct Action Everywhere or something, and I, 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 I talked with this guy on Bob Linden's show a couple weeks or a couple months ago, and, um, and he was saying, well, you know, veganism is harmful because, you know, it's not activist. And I said, sorry, Charlie, in my judgment, being a vegan is one of, is the most important activist thing you can do for non-human animals. I mean, I hope it's not the only thing you do. I hope you go vegan and then you educate other people about veganism. But the idea that going vegan is some sort of like useless act or sort of, you know, it, it's a, it, you know, that's nonsense. You know, it is the most important thing you can do to help non-human animals is to go vegan. You know, and, and, and I hope once you go vegan, you will spend your time and your energy. And look, it's not, you don't have to, some people are just, are just like they, some people don't like interacting with large groups of other people. Um, okay, fine, so don't do that. Um, some people are not really comfortable in, in, in certain social situations, fine. But everybody's got friends, everybody's got family. You know, you've got, you know, you got family, you got friends, you got lovers, you got partners, whatever. Um, talk to everybody you can. Never, ever, ever, ever let an opportunity go by, you know, where you don't talk about this. I mean, you know, yes, I do this in large groups, but I do it every day with every human. When I make, when I make the plane reservation, <laughs> when I made the, the damn plane reservation with British Airways, you know, I, I got some, she was very pleasant. And I said, I want a vegan meal. And I said, no, I don't want, you know, and she said, yes. You know, and I said, I said, no, and I really mean this. I said, I don't want anything on that tray that's got any animal products. I don't want any creamer that's got casein in it. And, we had, and she said, well, you're very strict about this. I said, no, I'm just a vegan. And, 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 and she said, you know, and we got into a discussion. And, and Anna was in the other room and she was laughing. And she said, you're the only person who can spend 40 minutes on the phone with British Airways talking to this woman about veganism. And the answer is, I will talk Talk about it with anybody who you know who doesn't walk away. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that 
know, that we need to be telling people because they're too stupid. And I, I, I so much object to that. Um, I hope, I, I'm, I'm hoping to see my friend Ronnie Lee this week. And Ronnie's here, isn't he? Yeah. And I'm hoping to see my friend Ronnie Lee because I saw him say something about, you know, well, you know, we can't really talk about veganism to people because, you know, they're just not morally sophisticated enough to understand it. I'm sorry, people. I think that is bullshit, and I do not mean to denigrate bulls. I mean, I really do, I really do think that that is wrong. I think that people understand it. They get it. You know, when I, I, you know what? I don't spend a whole lot of time talking to animal people these days because talking to people who are involved in these animal groups about veganism as a moral baseline is really frustrating because they argue with, I mean, they, they, they go all upset. They want to support foie gras campaigns, they want to support cage-free eggs, crate-free pork, and all this nonsense. That's why I talk to regular people. And I start off by saying, how many of y'all got a dog and, you know, or a cat or whatever? And like 90% of the audience, right, saying, okay, fine, you love them, members of the family, blah, 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 blah. And then I say, so why aren't you vegan? And then we have a discussion, which is usually scheduled for an hour, oftentimes goes to three. And, and every time I have one of those, every time Anna and I do one of those things, we will get, out of a group of 100 people, we'll get 10 or 20 people who come up and say, you know what, I never thought about it that way. You know, when I say to them, do you believe it's wrong to inflict unnecessary suffering on animals? And they say, yeah, I agree with that. And I say, well, but wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree with me that whatever necessity means, it means you can't justify suffering for reasons of pleasure, amusement, or convenience? Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. That's simple. Okay, fine. Then why aren't you a vegan? Because you don't need to, be, to eat animal products to be optimally healthy. And, and animal agriculture is an ecological disaster. The only justification, the only justification we have for exploiting the billions and billions and billions of animals and the trillions of fish every year is palate pleasure. Palate pleasure and fashion sense because we think we look good in it. And that's it. And that, that can't constitute necessity. And you know what? People are not stupid. They get that. And even if they're not going to go vegan immediately, you've planted the seed and you've made the message clear. And so they're not going to go off and buy cage-free eggs or crate-free pork or, you know, or steak instead of foie gras, they're, they're going to be thinking about this. They're going to be thinking. And so, because this is not rocket science. Most people already believe, almost everybody you meet, go, you don't believe me, go outside today at some point, not during one of my talks, but go outside, <laughs> go outside today and just stop people on the street and say, do you think it's wrong to inflict unnecessary suffering on animals? And you know what? You will not get one person who will say, I disagree with that. And that's, they already agree with everything they need to agree with to get to the vegan point. There is one and only one way we're going to stop animal exploitation, and that is we need to create a grassroots. We don't need these groups. We need us. We just need us, and we need our commitment and our passion and getting out there and not letting a day go talk to anybody you can every single day of your life. We need a grassroots movement. It's the only thing that's going to ever change. We do need revolution, but we need a revolution of the heart. Peace. Thank you very much.